Hey guys, what's going on? It's Verbal, and uh, yeah, like it sort of says, this video is a little bit more insightful into my life. I'm, I'm trying to give a little bit of hints and tips on um, how to do your, your own very first uh, interview. And uh, the reason for that is I'm kind of going through the interview process myself right now. Um, not interview at uh, the entry level, unfortunately, anymore. I'm, what am I, shit, eight, nine years into my career now. So uh, it's been a long time. But, um, I, you know, as I'm going through this, if you guys are watching this gameplay and then listening to this, uh, you know, uh, commentary, then it means that um, I got the job. So yay me. Obviously, I'm not going to be posting this if I didn't get the job. But um, I went through four rounds of, of interviews to get the job. And uh, I was pretty stoked. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was good fun. Um, it's it's a role that I really, really wanted. And it took a long time. And I just, I kind of sat down. And I was like, you know, shit, I could maybe impart a little bit of wisdom for you guys. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's useful. Maybe it's not. I'm kind of guessing that the majority of my audience is, you know, before they've gone to university and maybe interview techniques help um, getting into universities or college. And at the same time, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that are, you know, college level and uh, looking, wondering what they're going to do for their first career and, you know, how that's going to go down and what, what they're doing. So there's basically only three different tips that I can give you that will really help. And, and I've interviewed a lot of different people. Um, so hopefully it'll help you guys. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, you know, if, if it helps, then great, cool. Um, so before I do that, obviously, you know, there, it wouldn't be a verbal video without at least a little bit of editing. So I just wanted to have a different view on these two monkey geese. What are these idiots doing? I Like, what the fuck? So here, here they are in cartoon. And I, I don't know. I have no idea what that was all about. That was kind of weird to me. Um, but, you know, I'm happy to take the kill. So uh, it's all good. So, um, what are my three different things? Got a pen and a piece of paper? Go grab one. Hit pause. Yeah, that's right. Hit pause. Come back. So, the three things are, first of all, look sharp. Please don't come to an interview. If you're looking to get a job from me, don't turn up in, you know, tennis shoes or trainers if you're from England. Don't, don't turn up without a tie or without a suit. And this goes for boys and girls. Like, you know, look your best. Act your best at all times. You know, walk in the door being like, I'm hungry for this job. And that, that's kind of one of the most important parts. You know, wash your hair. For the love of God, wash your hair. I can't believe people actually come to interviews without washing their hair. Um, that freaks me out. Secondly, um, you know, wear something smart. Iron it. Press it. You know, make sure it's washed and looks good. Don't have an egg stain on a shirt that you're going to wear to an interview with me. That's just not respectful. Um, and, you know, it's not going to make me think, oh, you're, you're going to be really respectful once you get the job. Now, is it? So, you know, that's definitely something to pay attention to. Um, secondly, this one becomes really, really important. Um, come prepared. Come prepared for the role. Come prepared for you know what you think the company does and, and how the company works, and just maybe a little bit about the company. That would help. Wait, wait, wait. That was amazing. Let's let's have a look at that from another view. Oh yeah, this is this is my overhead uh, elevated um, amazingness cam. Um, again, all in cartoon because cartoon looks cute, and uh, I rock it. And I only just barely survive. Uh, the, the red is all over my uh, face at that point in time, but still, I, I survive and I carry on to, to fight another day. Um, but yeah, come prepared. If it's if it's your first um, interview ever, then know a little bit about the company. Understand what they do and how they do it. Um, you know, maybe know what clients they work on, or you know how what drives their major business. You know, know something about the industry and understand. You know, be able to talk to it. So if anyone just said, you know, do you know what we do here? You can at least come together with some type of, you know understandable and and hopefully relatively relative uh, you know accurate um, description of what the company does and then if you're a little bit later on in your career it doesn't hurt and it's a good tip for you guys ask around in your industry but if, if you're in your three four years into your industry ask what the person you're interviewing is like see if you know a few buddies that might know and obviously you need to trust the people you're asking because you're interviewing which means you're leaving your current job but you know if you know a few people it doesn't hurt to ask around and sort of say hey guys what what does everyone know about uh, you know this position of this job and Wait, wait, that's another double kill? That's awesome. All right, let's have a look at that one. Uh, cartoon effects in motion. Life is good. Ha, 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 ha. Nubbies get pooped on. Um, gold star for anyone who can tell me where that comes from. Um, so... You know, that, that's a really, really good thing is, is to be really, really prepared regardless of where in your career you are because, you know, no matter what happens, it's always good knowing that you're walking into an uh, uh, interview or, or any type of sort of situation where you're, you're getting a job or even just talking to someone, you know, sometimes it's like, hey, let's just get together and you know, have a beer or a cup of coffee or something. And that's that can be really, really useful if, um, you know, if, if, if you know a little bit about the position and the people and, and what you're going for. And, and it's definitely helped me. I, I did a lot of investigation about, 
you know, who I'd be working for and with. And uh, you know, when I went to go interview these people, I knew who I was interviewing with and why, and you know, what type of um, part of the business they ran or, or things like that. And that's that's can be a pretty big deal. So um, you know, definitely something to pay attention to. And then. The last part, and it kind of, I mean, it should be obvious to just about anyone, but for the love of God, guys, please, please, please say thank you. Um, say thank you in the interview, but then make sure to, to ask for their business cards. Ask for a way to get in touch with them afterwards. Um, I've had thank yous in many different ways, and wait, wait, how the hell did I survive that, and how the hell did I get that kill? Let's have a look at that from the uh, helicopter cam. So there's me coming around the corner, and there's my helicopter having my back and killing the guy. Love it. Um, so yeah. I actually had a person uh, write a handwritten note to me and mail it to our uh, our company after having sent uh, a thank you email, just thanking me for my time and my perspective on the company and blah blah blah. And I'd say, you damn right, that girl got hired, um, and I was really impressed with that. So it's really important to shoot an email afterwards. I always shoot an email out like within a day, um, immediately if I can do. When I come home, I put together an email, just a short one, a couple of lines will do, um, but it's important to do that so that you know they know that their time was appreciated with you and and that you know you're the type of person that if they hire will have those street smarts and 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 you know just the basic basic politeness that comes with saying thank you to people and that's it can be huge um of super fast mode i suck balls at doing that but uh, the rest of this gameplay was kind of boring and and i hunt around forever uh, get myself killed and, and i do a ring around the rosies later on and and actually get one kill but it was kind of boring to watch but i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed uh yay me for the fact that i got this job which is pretty fucking awesome um i'm pretty stoked about it and you know maybe i ho hopefully i helped you guys out a little bit at least and and you know maybe i can land you a first job and and good luck um that's it i'll catch you all later take it easy